Now we'd like to modify this mechanism from a saw to a sewing machine. And so to start, let's go out to our class files, and in class files you'll see a folder, slider, crank, sew. Double click on that and open up slider, crank, saw, assembly. Now I'll start by deleting a couple of parts right here, and obviously the saw blade. And I'd like to look at this part to start, open this block. And I'll zoom in on that, and I'm going to go and get rid of the feature here, cut out one, I'll delete that. And I'm going to create a part that would represent the needle on this end here. Let's spin this around. And again, this would be a separate part. But for the general idea, this should work. So I'll create a circle here, seven. And we'll extrude this. Turn off extrude symmetry. Push that out, say, 50 millimeters. Fit the view. And on the end here, I'll add a, another circle that will represent the needle. So I'll create a circle on the center and sweep through to get the center point. Let's make that one millimeter. A little larger than a real needle, but that'll work. And then I'll go identify the region, hesitate, region, pull that out. Let's make that, say, 25. And I'll close and return. Now I'd also like to make this arm a lot shorter because I don't want the needle going down very far. So I'll double click on this part, this link, and it's 110 now, and I'll change that to 50. This needs to be way shorter for a, a quick stroke. Also make adjustments to this piece right up here. I'm going to identify this little circle right here and move that. And let's move it, initially I'll move it down. I'd like to line it up with this center here. And I'd like to move it in a little, just to reduce the stroke length. So just move that in, say, 15. Close and return. And now I'm going to create some sort of housing for this to slide up and down in. So I'll go to Create Part in Place. Take the defaults. Green check mark. And I'll call this Housing. And I'll select Rectangle by Center. Select the plane here. And right on the center of this axis, I'll slide down and somewhere about here, I'll just create a rectangle, say 15, tab 140, and I'll extrude that back 30, and I'll add a circle on this top face, this to pass through. And I'll just borrow this. And just put a, la a little larger circle right there. Then I'll extrude. This time I'll just pick a single. Just want to extrude this circle. Space bar. And create a cut there. And I'll close and return. And now if I run this, I'll notice that I need to go and constrain this. It just runs around. I need this to align with that hole there. So let's go back and do that. Axial align this with this hole right there. So now when I run this, there's my basic outline of the sewing machine. <laughs>